Tom Holland bumped into a major celebrity on set, got told off by a kid playing an extra, and he flipped and climbed his way through multiple movies. So how does he do it all? We've got all the behind the scenes shots and a ton of commentary from the cast and crew who make all the magic happen, so stick around for the good stuff. We're getting spidey. Number 1. Tom's the bomb. He's just the man for the job. Alright, so is there anything we love more than this amazing duo? Not only are they a great couple in real life, their chemistry and work together on screen hits it out of the park. And what's even better is how much both of them adore and respect each other's work. He's great. He loves his job. He just knows his character so well that he just can fall into it, which is really cool to watch. After filming such stellar footage, it's no wonder these two wanted to spend more time together off screen. He's a really good dude, and I think that that really shines through on screen. I mean, one of the most special parts of all of this is the fact that I got to meet Tom Holland. Number two. I'm the superhero. I'm supposed to look cool. <laughs> Okay, so they're a solid duo, but that height difference between these two did prove to be a bit of an issue at times on set. I would land before him, because my feet <laughs> obviously hit the ground before he does. Safety was of course a question, and pretty intense. But of course, the key to all good relationships is working together as a team, and Zendaya really did Tom a solid. I would sort of land like this, and my feet would swing from underneath me, and then she would catch me. <laughs> Number three, Brr, need a scarf there, Peter Parker? The set turned out to be a total winter wonderland filming for Spider-Man No Way Home. It was chilly for sure, but that didn't stop Holland from bringing magic once again. Number four. The chemistry between him and Tom is undeniable and hilarious. Okay, so we've got some great duos to love in Spider-Man. Of course, we'll always ship MJ and Peter Parker, but that bond between Ned and Peter, well, that's one for the books. Tom and I had really hit it off from my first screen test, and it's been really easy since then. The love between these two seems endless, and it made for some fab performances on screen. Betty, just give me a minute with my friend. Whoa. Peter, just give me a minute with my boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, hey look, I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Spider-Man's best friend, Ned, played by my very real best friend, Jacob Batalon. It's probably the most important relationship throughout the movie. He's the only person who he confides in to talk about being Spider-Man. Number five. Again, I asked for a zip and I didn't get one. Them Spidey suits are tight. We're talking very inconvenient and oftentimes awkward tight. However, the whole headpiece area was pretty complex in how it was put together. The eyes pop out, and there used to be these fans. I remember them bragging about they added in these fans that you could click, and it would supposedly cool me down. They worked once. But how did Holland manage to consume anything? There's a hole underneath the eye socket where we used to be able to feed a tube down, and I could drink without taking the suit off. It certainly looks, uh, well, hey, whatever works. That's the suit. Number six. Parkour! Hardcore parkour! Hardcore parkour! I'm right behind you, Andy! So when they decided to film this, did the team just ask how they could push Tom Holland and make him look cooler than he ever has before? Tom on wires running across things, pretending to pole vault up onto the iconic Rialto Bridge. Because that definitely happened. And there's this really cool sequence in the film where I run across these kind of poles that they would moor the boats to. And it basically required me to be on a high line. Just look at him go. Number seven. Want to know how to make a wicked entrance? He decided to enter the scene by jumping on a trampoline and doing a backflip and then landing right in front of me. Tom is like a superhero. That was incredible. Yeah. Holland wasn't holding back at all. Number eight. I zoom back, I slam into the wall, and then all I hear is the SFX guy go, Sorry! Yeah, this was a bit of a stunt gone wrong. I was sitting on the floor, rigged to a ratchet, which is a machine where I will zoom backwards and slam into a wall. A super casual day of work for Tom. The SFX guy will also click a button, which will dump thousands of gallons of water on me, and you best believe they didn't heat the water. It was freezing. Just when he thought it couldn't get any worse. We had to do it a second time, but it looks great. Number nine. Obviously, at that time, all of the villains in the film, it was a huge secret that they were in the film, so they would walk around set with these cloaks on. 
Marvel keeps a whole lot of details top secret, especially with casting, but in one case, filming No Way Home, even Holland was caught off guard. I just sort of bumped into this guy in a cloak and was like, watch out, mate. <laughs> the cloaked guy? None other than Willem Dafoe. Oh shit, the goblins here. Spider-Man. I wanted to do it very badly. Number 10. You know the one we're talking about? The one that made Zendaya make this face? 100 foot swing, which was awesome. You okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Never, never doing that again. We don't blame you, girl. Number 11. That was scary. The first day of shooting, <laughs> I remember um, not being able to memorize, remember my line. Tom is obviously vital to the movies, but his presence turned out to be extra special for Jake Gyllenhaal when he was struggling on set. And I went up to Tom Holland, I was like, dude, help me out. He's like, it's all good, just relax. These two, of course, turned out to be incredibly good pals after working together, and we have no doubt, Holland's help made a big impact on their relationship. Number 12. We don't get just one Holland in No Way Home. We get an even smaller Holland as well, if you could believe it. He's telling me about this scene. They need a young person to play a burglar who Spider-Man's gonna catch. And he's going, do you think Harry would wanna do it? <laughs> I'm like, bollocks to Harry, he's doing it. The set became a pretty beautiful family affair, but Holland wanted to make sure his little bro could put his money where his mouth was after razzing Tom for his complaining. So we're doing this scene, Harry's upside down, swinging back and forward, and bless him, he's doing a really good job. So far, so good. He's driving home that day and he's like, mate, you can complain as much as you want. <laughs> we saw the film the other day and they've cut the scene. That's a tough break, little Holland. Number 13. One of the great things about Homecoming and this movie are, are the astounding cast. Astounding and talented. It's something pretty special. Tom's spidey power is probably most obvious when Holland is pulling off so many of his own stunts. But basically, I sit in that car, and the stunt driver sits in that little cabin and zips around these streets. And while I certainly do a fair share of web swinging and wall crawling, I definitely don't do it alone. All the wicked performances and tricks are definitely a collaborative effort, but Tom's skills really bring a whole lot extra to the table. The fact that they trust me to, to make that suggestion and then to perform it later is a real privilege. Number 14. One of the main reasons why I'm here is because I was trained in gymnastics and I use it every day. Holland's gymnast background totally helped in securing his role and on the set, it makes him that much more impressive as he really embodies the superhero. There hasn't been a day, I don't think, on this movie where I haven't had to use some sort of athletic ability. It's not easy work, but if we know anything, it's that Tom is dedicated. Holland gets plenty of practice off camera as well. Number 15. With Holland on set, sure. There was a ton of intense work and impressive stunts, but there were also a whole lot of these. I'm a virgin. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to sneeze. He's laughing. No, we got it. I got this. I got this. My scene partner is breaking. Can you see my face? No. Not at all, so I can smile. Yeah, yeah, you can smile. Okay. It's been an honor. <laughs> you can't, your whole body is moving. <laughs> Maybe we don't shake hands, we'll just do this. Thank you. Out. Like a grandmother. Oh my god, that's so English. Yeah, <laughs> like a grandmother. Like a grandmother, darling. Nice to meet you. Come be a tiny bit closer. Oh god. Not that far. Come on. Come back. It's just a lot to take in. <laughs> you just you, laughed you at my performance. You were looking around so far so you couldn't look at me, which made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, this, I don't think the shot works. <laughs> Number 16. A major reason for Holland's success is just how much work and effort he puts into his job. Brings so much thought to the character and helps us work out things on set all the time. Can you say dedicated and thoughtful performance? It's obvious to all those that work with him and it even comes across in just how passionately he talks about the work. I really think we've benefited the movie by having me in the suit do the stunts and pull the suit off so you can see that I did it. Number 17. The hard work obviously started long before filming even began. It like makes every part of your body shake and it's awful. It's a lot of fun and it works, but it really is the worst thing I've ever done. There was boxing, 
and more boxing and more boxing. But the prep to play Spider-Man included some more unconventional fitness techniques. It's like a, you wear this sort of like black suit and they put these pads on you and you basically do like a yoga class while they electrocute you. Sorry, they what? Yeah, it's like muscle yeah. stimulation, but you <laughs> work like... out while you use it. No surprise Tom wasn't such a big fan. It sounds kind of nightmarish. We'll stick with the boxing, thank you. Number 18. While pretty much everyone we know is a fan of Tom Holland, one little extra on set had quite a different reaction to the superhero's presence. We actually had a kid on set the other day, a little extra, and he, I walk on set and he's like pulling his mom's shirt and I go over to say hello. There goes Tom, kind as ever. He definitely had no idea this was coming. And as I go to give him a high five, he's like, no, I hate you. He's like, I don't like you. Those seem like fighting words, but turns out there was a bit more behind it. So I went to give him a high five again, and he's like, no, I'm on Team Iron Man. You're gonna regret that one <laughs> day, really buddy. Are. Number 19. Zendaya got to see up close just how tough being on set could be for her co-star and partner, especially when the set was unprotected and the paparazzi could go full tilt. It's difficult for Tom, who has to be in the full Spidey suit. It's not like he can be incognito. Holland has a ton of pressure on him, but the fact is that even when he's feeling overwhelmed by the press, when he's on set and in character, he's 100% there and never lets that performance suffer. Number 20. Have a great take, everybody. A lot of energy. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Or in this case, if Tom Holland doesn't think his performance is as good as it could be, it's back to the drawing board. Zendaya got to see just how rigorous a worker he is up close. I watched him do a fight scene all day, which is exhausting. He'd do a move, come back to the monitors, watch it, and say, I can do that better. Even if everyone else thought the work was solid, Holland couldn't rest until the absolute best footage was there. He's committed to the craft for sure, but this dedication, it's beyond impressive. The people that are here is why we make these movies. All right, so by now we're pretty positive we can confirm that Tom Holland is actually a real life superhero. He certainly has all the goods for it, and with Zendaya by his side, honestly, what can't he do? What's your favorite Tom Holland moment? 